American Express halftime report, 24 minutes in the books at Air Canada Center in a 2-2 series. And you know, Kenny, what I like to say about Paul George, oh, he makes notice. it look effortless. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> boo, boo, boo. That's all for Ernie. 61-52. <laughs> <laughs> Indiana's got the lead. Paul George has 22 in the first half. The series lead on the line. Uh, between these two, and Indiana has not trailed at this point. Ernie Johnson, Shaq, Kenny, Chuck, start with you, big fella, uh, with the guy we just saw, Paul George, in that 22-point first half. I mean, I'm super impressed, not only with the way he's playing, you know, to overcome what he has overcame and to come out and play this way, I'm super impressed. Not only Paul George, but George Hill, who's got 15 in the first half, shooting 65% in this series. Meantime, for Toronto, we've been waiting as you see those numbers on the Pacers. We've been waiting on the Toronto side. <laughs> for a DeMar DeRozan, Kyle Lowry, if you're going to be stars, carry your team at this point. Lowry in the first half, eight points on one of six. DeRozan does have 19, has hit half his shots. You know, Ernie, um, I'm going to have to adjust my ring as the second best backcourt in <laughs> the NBA. You can't play. You give him a pass a couple of times. This is like the third or fourth year in a row. These guys have played awful during the playoffs. And I think Coach Casey said it best when he was interviewed after the quarter. Like, my All-Stars have to play like All-Stars. And one of them's playing pretty good. The other one's playing bad. I mean, he's only got uh, – well, he's one for six. Yeah, but, but also, Ernie, he's given up 15. So we, we always talk about basketball strategies. Man, you got to play well. And your stars have to play well at home. And Paul George is playing like a star on the road because, like Shaq just said, when your star plays well, it's easy for everybody to follow. But Toronto stars are playing bad. They're not doing it. DeRozan's playing good, but Kyle Lowry's got to pick it up. Contested shots. You know, you know, throughout the year, they've been able to hit contested shots, both DeRozan and, and Lowry. And in the playoffs, there's a little bit more intensity, a little bit more defense. A little and bit more now, pressure. A little bit more pressure. But I, I think the intensity of a detail where you know where they are. You don't lose them. And I think that they're having difficult time, and especially Lowry, making contested shots that he typically made in the regular season. They don't have a low post presence, so they don't get a guy who can double, draw double teams in the, on the block. So he has to create it off the dribble. And every shot that he takes, even the last three that he made, at the end, they're always contested. And I don't think you can be a great player, Chuck, and have a steady diet of contested shots. As oh. great as Steph Curry is, he gets a lot of open looks. And you're like, how did he get open? He gets layups. He gets a lot of rhythm shots. So to me, his six shots and his one that he actually made with that long three was very contested. We always talk about J.R. Smith, who's the, probably the streakiest shooter in pro basketball. That's why he's streaky. The reason he's streaky is he takes – Tough shots. And I agree with Kenny. You cannot survive on taking tough shots. Like sometimes you're going to feel it and you get on a roll, but most guys make get on a roll making shots when they're wide open. It's hard to make contested shots. Indiana's biggest lead has been 17. It's nine here at the break.